Hi everyone, Mrs. Louder here. This week in math, we are going to be talking about 3D shapes. Remember, those are the ones that are fat, not flat. So, here's a little chart that I found. It's going to talk about all the different shapes. This one is a cone. It kind of looks like a party hat. It has one face, that means it's got one flat part, and it's got one vertice. Oh, vertices or vertex are the corners. It's got one corner way up on the very top where it's pointy. The next shape is called a sphere. That can be a hard one to say. Sphere. A sphere has zero faces, zero vertices, and zero edges because it's just round like a ball. The next shape is called a rectangular prism. Let's practice saying that. I'll say it, then you say it. Rectangular prism. Rectangular prism. Make sure you get that mm, at the end of prism. Now a rectangular prism kind of looks like a box. It has six faces or six flat sides. It has eight vertices or corners, and it has 12 edges where the sides come together. 12 of those. Oh, and look, this one is a cube. It kind of looks like a rectangular prism, but instead of having a rectangle for one of the faces, it's got all squares. That makes it a cube. It looks like a dice, and it's got all the same things as the rectangular prism. It has six faces or flat sides. It has eight vertices or corners. And it has 12 edges where the sides come together. Last but not least is one of my favorites. It's called the cylinder. A cylinder kind of looks like a can of pop. It has two faces. They look like circles. It has zero vertices, because no corners on a cylinder, and zero edges. Hmm, interesting. Let's take a look at some things that I found around my house that are these shapes. Oh, I bet you know this one. Yeah, that's a cylinder. But wait, is this a cylinder too? Look, there's my granddaughter Violet. I have an orange here, and that is a sphere. Oh, you rhymed and you got it right. Yay. Oh, look at these. Got a couple of things here. They look like they've got square faces. This flat part is the face. Yeah, these are cubes. Oh, and I found lots of rectangular prisms. Look at this tall, skinny one. That's a rectangular prism. Ooh, but if I go inside, did you know that a strand of spaghetti kind of has a circle on the end? <gasps> Two circles on each end? That makes it a cylinder. So there's a cylinder inside of a rectangular prism. Let's see. Oh. Got my tomatoes, that's a rectangular prism. How about my jello? That's a rectangular prism. See all the edges and the faces and the corners or vertices. Now here's a super fun one. Oh, huh. This box is a rectangular prism, isn't it? But let's see what's inside my box. It's a cone. See how if there was something covering this up, that would have to be a circle that covers it up. That's why the cone has one face that's a circle. This one doesn't because otherwise our ice cream would just slip off and we don't want that. <laughs> but there's a cone inside of a rectangular prism. Then I have another cone. It's a party hat. There are a lot of fun things that are 3D shapes, aren't there? Now, 
I want you to go around your house and find things that are 3D shapes. Please take pictures and drop them into the template that's on this activity. I can't wait till you till I see the things you find. I know that we did 2D shapes and that hexagon was kind of hard to find, but I think you're going to be able to find something for every one of the 3D shapes. I can't wait to see what you find. Have fun!